I'm Harold Phillips Lovecraft, and today's question comes in this rather charming postcard from David, who describes himself as a dinosaur enthusiast and wants to know just what I make of these remarkable creatures. Now, man has always loved his monsters and been fascinated by the terrible and the grotesque, and dinosaurs, perhaps more than any other terrestrial creatures, seem to be tailor-made to capture our imaginations. They have inspired not only the, the fevered dreams of ten-year-old boys and girls, but film, art, and, and a whole raft of sciences. In fact, the study of dinosaurs with its races and its bone wars is fascinating in and of itself. At first, we, we viewed these creatures as rather uniform, lumbering, squamous monsters, but over time we've come to realize the vast array of these creatures and how they go from the very tiny to the very large, and indeed how some are bedecked in brilliant plumage, which of course leads us to learn that dinosaurs still walk among us just in somewhat altered forms. Hard to believe, unless you have had the misfortune to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with a pigeon and see that those cold, killer eyes remain. And perhaps there's a lesson for us from the dinosaurs, that no matter how vast and powerful a species views itself, no matter how much of the planet they seem to dominate, all of us eventually check out. Whether we bring our doom upon us through our short-sightedness or our greed or our carelessness or whether the universe simply shrugs us off in a casual act of dismissal, one day we will be gone. And if there's one thing the dinosaurs can teach us is that there are far worse legacies than for your planet to go to the birds. As always, I'm Howard Phillips Lovecraft.